so I have finally made it to the point where I'm building out the back wall and I've had a lot of delays because I've had to and this is where the bed is going the platform that raises up and down so I've got to make sure that there's enough space from the back wall to the bed joist from the bed joist to the front of the platform where the bed's gonna be and then I've had to kind of measure out everything from that so I've had to kind of imagine that the wall was already here in order to place the shower <laughs> and then everything else in front of it sort of so fitting the shower in between the front section that was already built and the back section that is imaginarily built it was a bit tricky so anyway uh, at this point there's another little tricky spot in the back in that there's a 45 degree plate right here here and a, a third on the bottom and I have to build out a, a flat wall and a, against a perpendicular uh, wall with a 45 degree angle in the middle and I can't just go straight in as you can see. So what I have done is I've created this strange looking, we'll call it a corner bracket here, and that is going to bolt right to here, okay. and then um, actually we'll sit there for a second as I grab my 2 by 4 and this stud then has this section to which it can bolt, it can be screwed in. The closer this angle bracket came this way, the less contact area it made with this, we'll call it a joist. And so I, I, I couldn't bring it too far down, I couldn't bring it too far back, I had to kind of play with the happy medium that I found there. This guy's just going to bolt to the, the frame on the perpendicular end, and then I've got a similar bracket going at the bottom. Uh, as for the other side, it was much easier. And that's because the, the, there's no window on this side that I have to deal with that, that brings that first stud way up. The, the last stud in this wall is right here, right next to that 45 degree angle. So all I really had to do is take one 2x4, cut a 45 degree cut in it, and just you know, screw it down with deck screws. I did the same thing on the bottom, so hopefully that'll work. And once these two posts are up, I'll build the posts around the door and I'll insulate it. That will be the last frame issue that I have. That's be the last stuff going up for the frame, which is awesome. The frame has been the most cumbersome part of the, the build so far. Because night has fallen on the neighborhood, I can't uh, rightly go out and use the circular saw in the front yard. Not only is there no light, but it's a kind of a quiet neighborhood. So not only do I have to move it into the garage, but I have to use my, my jigsaw. It's like a two by four studs. So this will be fun. I need four screws to finish this wall and then I'm done for the night and in the box the last four screws out of like a five pound box of drywall screws killing it and he shall receive
finally done, but it is lightning and thundering outside. And with that last little beam, I am done framing this entire project. No more framing. And uh, when it's insulated, then I'll have the whole thing insulated, except for one little patch up front, and I'm waiting to see what I'm gonna do about like that. Kind of use it as a giant glove box, because there's a lot of really cool space up there. Like, a lot of space. Totally unused. I mean, you could fit a, an entire arsenal of rifles in that thing. We'll see what we can do about putting stuff in there. But this is a uh, sentimental moment. I think it's serendipitous, too. The last beam required four screws, and we had four screws left in the box. So, yay! It's very cool. Very cool to think that, it, that it's the framing is finally done. Now I can move the couch back here which will then allow me to start getting the height on the lift for the bed and once I have the lift for the bed then I've got the space the platform for the bed when I got the platform for the bed then I can define the area for the shower and then it's just a matter of finishing up the bathroom opposite the shower the counter opposite the other counter the sink and stove counter and the fireplace and some shelving for like the kitchen stuff food stuffs you know perishables etc and then that's it oh and then putting the the finishing uh, paneling up which i guess i'm calling it paneling but it's really a bunch of fence posts that were sanded down i gotta stain those stick them in place this is gonna be i mean it's like I'm climbing up toward the end here. It's awesome. I still have I still have at least four weeks left to do for sure. For sure. But and I'm not sure if I can say I'm at the point where I can see the light at the end of the tunnel, as they say. But I can say that it's really coming together. There's some significant progress. Things are nice and situated and sorted and all that. It's pretty cool. Pretty neat. Thanks for watching, I hope you liked it. If so, be sure to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Construction on the tiny home is actually complete, so visit kyleodonnell.com slash blog to binge watch the build. You'll not only read my personal journals during construction, you'll also see videos covering everything from solar installation and transforming bedrooms to wiring your electronics and off-grid plumbing.